High pressure is starting to slide away and the heat is moving in. And as that heat moves in, you can see our temperatures rise. This is at seven o'clock. We have some cloud coverage in the morning and then clear skies by the afternoon. We've got also this northwestern flow that uh, kind of helps down sloping. That's when the air compresses and when it compresses, it heats up because if you push the air together a little bit, the molecules rub up against each other. That's what increases the temperature a little more, especially for us here in the Midlands. So cold fronts up to our north Saturday at seven o'clock. High pressure just over to our west. We're still under this high over to our west, but we can see a little 20% chance of some rain and storms. Now notice this. This is Franklin that's off off our coast here. High pressure still over to our west there. Cold fronts making its way down to the south, but really kind of stalling out. And this front is really what's helping bring this system away from the United States. So it's really good news. And to Monday, it brings us about a 40 to 50% chance of some rain and storms. A little area of low pressure starts to develop around North Carolina at three o'clock in the afternoon, helping increase our chance of rain. So you can see the wet weather for your Monday. Now, it, the tropical system is still over to the east there, but we're watching down to the south. This low comes in from the south. It actually has a chance of developing into a tropical depression, a 60% chance. I'll show you that in just a minute. But uh, as far as Tuesday goes, it's mainly the front that's giving us uh, some rain, but it could be fed some tropical moisture by Tuesday night into Wednesday. So Wednesday, this low is getting closer to our region. It could give us some breezy winds and mainly some rain. So this could be anywhere in our region. It could be off of our shores, so I'm just saying 50% chance because it's that far out. But this model has been consistent for the last two days. And because of that consistency, that's why the National Hurricane Center has upped it chances of it actually developing into a tropical system up to 60%. Now the other two systems that we've got, no threat to the United States, 50% chance of developing in the next seven days. Now let's talk about Franklin. It's a uh, still a tropical storm with winds at 60 miles per hour, so it has strengthened now that it's away from land, and it's expected to be a Category 2 storm by Monday and into Tuesday. All models keep it offshore, so Bermuda is the one really has to watch that system.